So here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. While self-belief is a powerful thing, he has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. champion and man does he have all the confidence and the self-belief that comes with that distinction yeah when you're the baddest man on the planet you are confident you have to be a bit arrogant a bit cocky and that's what this guy has he has been here on so many different occasions this is like another night in the office but you can never tell by the way that he prepares when you watch him prepare he treats every one of these defenses as, as if it's the first time he's fighting for a UFC championship. No, you put that well. He has had that patented intensity about him this week, trying to occupy some headspace in the challenger. Huge heavyweight title fight was a promise. Won't be now, now, folks. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Ben. Herb Dean, third party hey. in the octagon hey. tonight. Hey. All right, here we go, hey. UFC heavyweight title on the line. This should be good. Oh, he lands a hook. Whiffs on that offering. Nice straight right legs. And now another being thrown on both sides. Oh, roundhouse kick lands. Lock him, suck him out of the shoot here. Straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this. DC. It's just a really high pace, too. It's a really high striking pace for these two. Oh, big elbow. Nice block. Oh, nice. Oh, he got to the spot. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style gets denied. Blocked! Great job. 
job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. He's in the mouth. This is a terrible position. Oh, shades of the Godfather with the ground and pound Mark Coleman as he lands again. Cole is somewhere smiling, watching this guy land from the top position. Midway through round one. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Got to be very careful there. Posture's up now and lands a vicious head strike. Pretty big round and pound. Another ground and pound strike lands. Lands with the ground and pound. I saw that by the champ. Busy as he looks to improve position here. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Ground and pound the hammer Mark Coleman would be done. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. The hard ground upon is paying dividends. He has opened up a cut. Ninety seconds to go in our opening round. Good, solid strike on the ground. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Very nice. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game tonight. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Punch after punch, starting to land from the top position. Oh, man, every time he lands, it's right on that cut. That is going to have a profound impact on him moving forward. Fight back! Making Fight all back. these shots count. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Right hook there by the champ. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Final seconds of the round. Ground and pound strike there now. Second round, straight ahead. Oh, well, that cut on his eye is only getting worse by the minute. He makes his way back to the stool, albeit gingerly. We'll see what the cut man can do to keep him in this fight. It's only going to get worse. You have to be smart with your Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over this 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows. And he wasn't moving his head well. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target. And his opponent opened up a nasty cut on him. He has got to move his head to limit the damage that he's taking. You ready to fight? You ready? Round two is on the way. Oh, man, you got to credit him for continuing to attack that area. But that cut is getting harder to look at by the minute. Yeah, it's hard to watch. And... You know, we, we spoke about this guy and how impressed we were with this fight IQ and how smart he was in his approach to shows again. He got his opponent hurt, and he has been on that cut the entire time. Great job. Oh, he scored with that uppercut. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Big right hook coming. It's Nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, he might be out. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish.
finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Takedown defense is there. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strength. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer. Because right now, he seems lost to him. Big right hand. the grounded pound strike here. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, this UFC fight is sort of dissolving into a horror movie. I don't need to see any more damage inflicted. You don't have to lose everything on one night. His corner can stop the fight now, and he would be mad now, but he would appreciate them later because it will extend his career going down the line. Nice shots landing from the top position. He's very accurate in the ground and ball and it's showing because he's landing so consistently. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Just over two minutes now to go on the round. Pretty good work with the strike there from bottom position. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Well, he's got his back now. Oh, another blow lands on the cut. Critical situation now. He's a bloody mess. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Oh. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Another one. I mean, you cannot miss from the top position. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Beautiful transition. One minute to go in the round. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter, and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Great job landing from the top position. Nice positional control here. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Oh, he's got his back. Final seconds here of round two. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, round three coming up next. All right, back to the stools we go, and that is a really severe cut, so we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there. All right, so as the cut man gets to work, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round. Well, he's got some work to do. The cut man's gonna have to work a miracle because this guy was on the receiving end of some real damaging shots. And if he doesn't do something different defensively, it's going to get worse. And if it gets worse, the fight may be stopped. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. 
not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Left hook down. Blocks the shot. Nice land with that punch, clearly taking advantage of his big edge and reach. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. All right, well, that eye is officially disgusting right now. I don't know, man, if I'm a doctor, maybe I'm thinking about getting involved. Well, you can see him getting up out of his seat. You know, he's looking very closely at the damage on the eye. We may get him in here before the round even ends. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. Constantly a moving target. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. Moving his head here on the ground, champ. I mean, this guy is very active off of his back, and it helps him to evade those strikes. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Another ground and pound strike gets home. He's very close to the finish here. Oh, huge ground strikes. Lands with the ground and pound here. Again, not looking at her. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Just a relentless effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 32 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Big. So there he is, and still the baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. He successfully retains the title here tonight and does so by TKO. Nice embrace there with the head coach. This is a celebration that is going to continue all night long tonight. Not only did they defend the belt, but they get the style points they sought by virtue of that TKO. Congratulations.